Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Nicole and today I wanted to talk about point and click adventure games. I love these kind of games. I think that point and click games are really not only my first like foray into gaming, but I feel like a lot of people's first like attempts into gaming just because it's low pressure, low action, you don't need a lot of reaction time, and it's more puzzles and they're almost always like mysteries that you have to try to figure out. Uh, my favorite series is the Nancy Drew series by uh, Her Interactive. Excellent series of video games, you should definitely check it out if you haven't. So I want to talk about some of the tropes that are in literally every single point and click game that I've ever played in my life. I play a lot of them. So the first thing is, is that everything is locked. Literally everything is locked. Doors are locked, drawers are locked. Uh, cabinets, uh, jewelry boxes, everything is locked. And so you just have to keep finding keys. Whether you have to ask someone for the key or you have for the, it, sometimes it's just like in the next room over, you have to like search for it. And this doesn't make sense, one, because 95% of these things wouldn't be locked because a lot of the times you're in these places, like not, you're not supposed to be in there. So like they wouldn't like, maybe the door to the room would be locked, but not everything in the room would be locked. And this is a very important thing that they're trying to keep hidden away and in that case why is the key like under the carpet in the next room over <laughs> so that's always funny and anyone who's ever played the Nancy Drew Her Interactive games would recognize this it's locked very iconic another thing that I find you do in a lot of point and click adventure games is some sort of like electrical work like whether that's rewiring something whether that's um fixing a LED display panel, whether it is, like, it's just, it seems like something always is short-circuiting or going out or you need to flip a certain amount of switches to make it turn back on or some sort of, like, puzzle that has to do with electricity. Like, besides the fact that I don't think this should really be your job, somehow you're always trying to find the electrical box and when you get there it's not just a fuse you need to switch out or a brick you need to flip it's like you gotta match different color wires or something ridiculous the third thing that is in every single point and click game is you have to bribe animals with food now the most common one that I've seen in so many games is bribing a dog with meat so many times this isn't actually that common to Nancy Drew specifically but a lot of point and click games have this where there's gonna be some sort of guard dog or um, just like even like a rabid dog that's rambling on the streets and it's like oh I should distract it with something and then you have to go and find like a raw steak or something like that. I've also experienced having to play games with monkeys in order to get them to give you stuff. I've experienced having to give a parrot a treat in order to get clues and hints from it. I've also seen having to give uh, fish food or something to like a piranha so you can reach into its tank and get a key probably out of it in order to unlock something. There's always some sort of animal that's in your way and you just have to find the right type of food in order to distract it. On a similar note, you also have to distract people a lot because normally you need to like look through their desk or look through their office or bedroom or wherever they are. And so you have to distract them. And like I have seen so many different ways to do this. I have seen asking them to look in the back for something. I have seen pulling a really important and scary alarm so the security guy goes and tries to deal with the alarm. Um, I have seen I've seen making people fall asleep until you can rifle through their purse. In one of the Nancy Drews you make like this really elaborate Rube Goldberg type experiment in order to throw sneezing stuff in sneezing powder into the nose of someone who has bad allergies so you can sneak in the back room when they're not looking. Like there's always some way, and my favorite ones are the ones where you ask someone to go get you something or like in one of the games, um, one of the characters is a news reporter and you can distract her by calling her hotline and get, telling her that there's like some scoop happening and then she'll leave. But like you think after like the ninth time of getting called to like the same exact place, like she wouldn't go anymore or she would like track the number or anything like that. but. No, they always fall for it, they always go, they always go for just the amount of time you need. Another thing that happens all the time, especially in Nancy Drew games, is you just happen to overhear conversations all the time. And it's always the most interesting conversation that they could possibly be having. They're not ordering lunch, they're not just talking about the weather, they're talking about the secret, the family secret that no one knew about, or they're talking to their secret other girlfriend, or they're um, calling and talking to a company that they, they'd only be talking to that corporation if they were 
behind everything that's been going wrong here or whatever. Like they're they're always the most incriminating conversations ever. And sometimes they'll even tell you stuff. Like sometimes you'll overhear and they'll be like, yeah, yeah, it'll be in the shed underneath the shovel. No one will think to look there. And you're like, I think to look there. Always like Nancy's always in the, like the perfect place at the perfect time, whether it's like in a cornfield or under the porch in a secret tunnel. She's just always there just to hear the right thing. But anyways, <laughs> um, those are just some things that I notice in every single game, every single point and click adventure game that I play basically. It's, it's just funny, honestly. Like, I understand why they need to be there, and I understand how they work, and the, like, the plot, and whatever. And no no video game, or movie, or book, or whatever genre is free of its cliches. But I just wanted to kind of like rant a little bit. Um, and maybe you'll find this relatable <laughs> if you like point and click adventure games. Um, so yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you like this kind of listicle kind of video. Uh, leave a comment down below if you uh, know what I'm talking about. Um, and if you have any point and click adventure games, suggestions actually, I would really like that. Um, but yeah, until next time, later days.